Hello, uh, I would like to explain you this external calibration process. Uh, basically, you need to do this uh, only when you change the relative positioning between scanners. So if you don't change the relative positioning between scanners, you don't need to do this uh, based on different targets. Okay. But let me explain you the main concept and what do I do in this process. Okay, so for example, now I load five different raw data coming from scanners. I use the data that you sent me. Okay, so our first block is looking to the image window zero, this one. So the first function here is fitting a plane to the data points. The next function is killing, neutralizing, uh, flattening the data in x, y, and z uh, axes. Okay, so it basically uh, neutralizes all the angles available in these axes. So, and, and plus to this, I adjust the Z position, I bring the, the data to the zero level. Okay, then the data is now at the zero level, that's why it is moved. Let's auto center it again. You will recognize that all the Z points are around zero right now. Then I will export this geometry into my as a string and then I write it into INI file with the name of uh, date of today. Okay. I will do the same thing for the next window. Okay. The plane will be fitted. Okay. Then it will do the adjustment and all the Z points are around zero again. Then it will export the geometry, the string, and it will write it into the file. Okay, so let's do this for all uh, remaining three windows. Mm -hmm. Step by step, I do it. Okay. Uh, now I stopped here because uh, the data that I have right now is only plain data and it is not possible to define the x offset values. So right now uh, using this data I can only calculate the uh, flattening parameters of the uh, calibration. Okay, so let's look at the file that has been created. Okay, so this is the file that is generated. These offset values are coming from, they are not calculated, but I just copied them from the previous INI file. But these lines are calculated just two minutes ago. Okay. So whenever the new feature data comes, our um, program will apply this flattening parameters to the image window zero, for example. Whenever new data comes, arrives, it will apply this parameters to the image window second. As I said, I just copied these offsets uh, values from previous INI file. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let me paste it again. So the calibration program is is very important because we created this INI file which we are going to use for all the future data. Okay. Let's now come to the merge data. In order to test 
whether our uh, parameters are working uh, nice. Okay, so I load the raw data again. Okay, now the data is again raw data. You can see that set values are around 90. Okay, so let's clear these windows. Now I will read the parameters that are available in my INI file, which was generated uh, three minutes ago. Okay. So first I read uh, the variable called plane one. I will read this. Then I will import it to this window as a string. Then based on this string, I will adjust my data uh, okay let's do them step by step I read the read it the plane is fitted as a 3d object now it's time to adjust set position and all angles into the image window zero okay one, two, three. So now, as you can see, all the points are around zero. It seems to be more flat than before. And let's repeat this pr process for the remaining four items. Okay. Read the new line, import the geometry, reflect the changes into image window two. Okay. This is more flat. Let's read again for the rest, step by step. Okay. Now all of them are uh, flattened and all, all the plane parameters are applied. Now it's time for applying X offset parameters, values. Okay, now I'm reading uh, X offset and moving basically the data to the left or right. Okay, because all the data that I obtained are available in the exact same position right now. I just need to move them to the right or left. So I read this INI file again. For example, now I should move it 151 millimeter to the left or right okay. okay the data is now like that so I will gradually combine all the data into here so let's do the next steps the next data will be moved 114 millimeter okay let's see here next data will be moved 76 millimeters okay the next data will be moved 37 millimeters and all the five is now available uh, unfortunately I forgot the order of the scanners so if you think uh, the order of the scanners is different, so please adjust your parameters accordingly. So, what will you need to adjust then? For example, if this 4 corresponds to something else, then you need to change it. If this 2 corresponds to something else, you just need to change this. Uh, okay. And uh, this is the output point cloud that I have right now. It seems flat and the values are around zero, as you can see. And this is how I do the calibration, external calibration, of course. The, the most valuable file in here is the file that I have just created uh, because it includes all the information 
which I need for the future scans. Okay, and I use this merge function for the test right now. Uh, before you were using these transformation filters to adjust the position in the Z. Okay, for fine tuning, you can still do that, but I believe uh, my values are not bad, so that's why I disabled these uh, manual uh, things. Uh, this this means run it only in the uh, configuration mode because normally you will not load the old data. Uh, so you will only load the new data. Uh, okay, I think if you have further questions, please ask me. Thank you very much for watching.